Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys what, uh, what we just got in. Customer dropped it off a little while ago. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a van. We're going to do some repair work on it. So let me get to showing you this uh, radical cool paint job on this van too. Look at that. Chevy Astro van on 20s. It's got a really nice paint job. Phantom grill. Flaked out really nice. Like I said, we're gonna do some repair work on it. I'll show you in a second. Uh, <clears throat> the shock mounts broke off. One of them did. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair them both. This thing's really nice. Hey, shout out to Daily Driven. You know them. Whoever painted this did a good job. It's pretty clean. I mean, look at it. Definitely a nice van. You don't see, like I said earlier, you don't see uh, many vans anymore. But yeah, we're gonna do uh, some shock repair. I'll show you right here in a second. Someone did a faulty repair job. And as you can see, just laid it on with no penetration. Maybe no penetration at the bottom. Took a piece of the frame with it because it looks like it was rusted or weak. So this is the driver's side. I'm going to cut out the bad stuff, design and make new shock mounts, and then I'll cut off the passenger side <clears throat> and add another one as well. So I'm gonna make a pair of shock mounts for this. All right, let me show you what happened on the frame. And as you can see, that bracket just ripped the material out. These frames aren't that thick, so I'll remove the upper control arm, move the airbag out of the way, the airline out of the way, and I will cut this out Put a piece in there and repair it and strengthen it and then we will go about the shock next because the shock potentially we'll see if the shock's too short then it could be ripping it off or if it's too long when they lay out it could be putting pressure on it so we'll uh we'll get it repaired and then go from there Passenger sides all tore down. This one still has it, but we're gonna remove it and delete. I don't know if that's, I can't tell if that's where it's already cracking or if that's where they just added tons of weld because it was already broken and someone tried to repair it before. I'm not sure, but we're gonna cut that on that one off as well. So, I'm gonna 
clean some of these tools up, get them out of my way, and then we'll get some, some metal cleaned up, like I said, on this other side. And we'll start this repair process. Went ahead and cleaned it up. Got it all slightly beveled. Cut out some of the crap. I have a new piece here. We'll get it. We'll get it tacked in, welded up, and uh, well, I guess that light needs charged. Put this one on the charge. Grab another one. Do, 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 do. All right, that's on. Grab another one. Back to what we were. Oh. Okay, back to what we were doing. <clears throat> ah, much brighter. Again, as I was saying, this will, I'll use my magnets and set this into place and get that welded up cleaned up i'll smooth all the welds out metal finish it then we'll start plating it and then start designing the shock mounts if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can watch all the upcoming clips we have projects all kinds of stuff coming in out of here I got attacked in for now, the moment. I'll go ahead and weld that in. And um, I'd normally, or I'd want to be using my GoPro so I can do time lapse of new welding and all that, but I don't have my GoPro set up. Uh, Crispin Darvis gave me a GoPro 3 to start using, but I've been so busy, I have yet to set it up and learn how to use it. But once I start getting that figured out, then I can actually have y'all watch more of the process. Got this side fully welded up, cleaned up, metal finished, ready for the reinforcement bracket. Same with the passenger side. I went ahead and took off, cut off the shock mount that someone boogered up. It was a poor job at repairing, but I'm sure it got them where they needed to be temporarily. But got all that cleaned up. It was really boogered on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate both, inside, both sides to reinforce it and then we'll start on the shock mount design. Got that silver flake, I know about that silver flake.
Got both sides. Plates welded up. Cut them already, as you saw. Flashlight. As you saw, it was all cleaned up before. Now we got these reinforcement plates. They're gonna distribute. Yeah. They'll distribute the force instead of being on just the tabs. Now it's this whole area. And I'll weld the new tabs on here. And I'm not gonna do a boxed one. I'm just gonna do two tabs. That way I can access each side of it. Do four welds. As you can see, the old shock tabs. That's the one where it actually ripped the frame out. And then here, it wasn't even welded on the back. It looks like somebody just kept filling and filling and filling until they made what they thought was a reasonable surface. But these won't be used again. We're going to make our own. So, next step is to start designing our own shock mounts. I'll have to set them on and kind of make sure that they don't bottom out at lift or laid out. Because, like I've said before earlier in the video, if they're too short and you air up, it's putting pressure on that shock mount to pull it down. But if they're too long when you air out, they'll put pressure up on the top. So we wanna make sure when the shocks are fully compressed, they don't bottom out. And when they're fully extended, they don't aren't fully extended as they would bottom out the opposite way. So. Got the shock tab all drawn up. I've already had the spindle back in, the upper control arm back in, and put it through its cycles. It's gonna have a tab on it that goes all the way down. This is just a rough draft. Um, you'll see once it's cut. Um, I'm going, I already measured it. The other tab was too high. That way when you were at full lift, it would actually put pressure on this and pull on it. And then when you were at, um, laid all the way out, it would not affect it at all. But that full lift, the pressure of the airbag and lifting the front of this was just pulling on this. So I've redone it to where fully aired up, it won't fully extend the shock. And then when it's laid out, it won't fully compress the shock. So there'll be no more stress on the shock itself or the mounting hardware or like I said, the mounting plates or tabs. So we'll get the shop closed up and we'll head over to get them cut out of the table. Little eye view of in the driver's seat. A little wet out today.
new shocks came in. Got the same ones that were on the front. They decided that they didn't want to work anymore. So we got the same ones, but brand new. Put them in once we get these tabs tacked in and welded in. And here are the tabs from metal template. Little for saying these templates are just usually a rough draft. But I'll clean these up. Not bad off right off the table. Clean them up, tear them up. As you saw, got them all cleaned up, ground down where they need to be welded, cleaned up all the edges from the table where they were a little, not rough, but just some of the slag. And then I already bolted up spacer so the shock will go there so when it's welded, it don't collapse or widen, it stays the same shape as I wanted to. Um, this one I added the ears as you can see it comes all the way down so it'll weld up here and down both sides of each one of these um, I'll get them tacked up and start cycle I'll cycle it through to make sure it's exactly what I want I'm happy with it we'll weld it up and this part's done will be done <laughs>